everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. Let's go to the Express over in the UK, as they're talking my kind of tinfoil hattery. As they say, China unveils gene technology to create superhumans with hypermuscular test tube dogs. Yeah, that's right. They say now over in China, armies of super soldiers are a step closer to reality after China announced it was genetically engineered hypermuscular super dogs. You got to wonder if it's, uh, you know, for uh, military purposes or is it just to eat? You know, I mean, because, you know, dog is a pretty, uh, pretty big and uh, hot commodity over in China. And if you can make these super muscular dogs, why then that's a lot of dog meat right there. It says the dogs, which are test tube bred in the lab, have twice the muscle mass of their natural counterparts and are considerably stronger and faster. The canine genome has been especially difficult to engineer and replicate, but its close similarity to the human genome means that it's long been a prize to geneticists. And now the Chinese success has led to fears that the same technology could be used to create weaponized superhumans. You know, typified in uh, Marvel Comics by Captain America and his foes. Yeah, Captain America, if you remember in, in this latest movie, he was genetically manipulated. I mean, he was engineered to be a super soldier. And really, you know, uh, DARPA has been after this for years. Um, all militaries really want that leg up. And to have a super soldier that is better, faster, uh, more responsive, you know, doesn't fatigue as much, more hardy, well, then that's what you want. You know, you can breed your own race of super soldiers. And, I mean, really, we're getting to the point now where you actually can start, and this is like Brave New World-esque, where you just start, you know, basically breeding society based on class and, you know, and, okay, well, we want a slave class. Well, this is how we're going to engineer them. You know, fairly soon you won't have... Uh, people being birthed naturally. Everybody will be born in a test tube or something like that. It, I mean, that's where we're going. It's crazy to see this stuff actually taking place. You know, and this is stuff that visionaries thought would happen hundreds of years in the future. It's not, you know, what was it? George Orwell said 1984. Now look at, here we are, well past what 1984 ever envisioned. It's unbelievable. David King, a director of Human Genetics Alert, voiced his fears over what's widely viewed as the first step on a slippery slope. He said, it's true that more and more animals that are genetically engineered use these techniques, using these techniques, bring us closer to the possibility of genetically engineering humans. He says, dogs as a species in respect to cloning are very difficult and even more difficult to clone than human beings. He says, there's no medical case for it, and the scientists are interested in being the first person in the world to create a genetically engineered child. So their interest in science and the technology and their careers, that's, that's what they're interested in. And of course they are. They want to be the ones, you know, to come up with this. Well, what a great achievement. But as we've said so many times before here, the road to hell is paved by good intentions. And to me, while it's, great to be able to engineer disease out of the world or, you know, even slow down aging for those that want to slow down aging, whatever. But when you start talking about genetically engineering human beings, you talk about playing God. And I got to tell you, it never ends well for human beings when we play God. Never. There's always a serious correction that happens when we do this. So, while a lot of people can tout the benefit of genetic manipulation, of cloning humans, of cloning dogs, oh boy, now I can clone Rover. I don't have to go through this whole thing about death anymore because I'll have Rover again. You know, all of that comes at a cost. And are we willing to pay for that? I'm not, and I hope you aren't either. This is a very dangerous, slippery slope, and it's one that I fear they're going to go down anyway, regardless of how we feel. I'm Joe Joseph. This was TheDailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day.